My mama always used to cook us gumbo growing up. It's a recipe dear to my heart. I love gumbo. And today, I'm gonna share it with y'all. If at any point you like this content, make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you haven't hit that red subscribe button yet, make sure you smash that. While you're at it, go ahead and click that bell. Join the notification squad. You're not gonna wanna miss what I'm cooking up. All right, y'all, let's not waste any more time here. Let's get right into this. New Orleans gumbo. Let's get it. Here's everything you're gonna need to make. New Orleans gumbo, 100% plant-based, at home. You're gonna need some flour, some oil, some vegan butter. If you don't wanna use vegan butter, you can just use more oil. You're going to need the holy trinity, which is onion, celery, and green bell pepper. You're gonna need some scallions, some garlic, some parsley, Italian parsley, some bay leaf, and some fresh thyme. You're gonna need three quarts of veg stock, some tomato paste, some stewed tomatoes, you can also use diced, some Cajun seasoning, I got that slap your mama. If you're not trying to slap your mama, then go ahead and use uh, that Zatarans or that Tony C. Then, you're gonna need some Louisiana hot sauce, you could also use Tabasco, or whatever you got laying around. Vegan Worcester sauce, Worcester. I'm using this Annie's brand, it's 100% vegan. If you can't find this for whatever reason, you can just omit this from the recipe and just add some extra seasoning to compensate for the salt. You're gonna need some cayenne pepper, some paprika, some white vinegar, some sugar, and some gumbo filet. You're also gonna need some vegan protein. So right here, I got vegan chicken. I actually found this at Walmart. No Evil Foods vegan chicken right here. Um, I got some Beyond sausages here. I got some enoki mushroom. I'm gonna substitute this for the crab meat. And uh, this is some vegan shrimp right here. Made by Bee Leaf Vegan. Big shout out to Bee Leaf Vegan. They sent me these and these shrimp. Pretty legit. All right, let's chop this stuff up. So, let's do our garlic first. gonna mince this up. I'm using three tablespoons of garlic for this recipe because I love garlic. If you guys don't like it as much as me, just use two tablespoons. It's a powerful onion. It's making me cry, y'all. I'm putting my blood, sweat, and tears into this gumbo for y'all. Oh. Oh. You want everything pretty finely chopped for this recipe. You don't want an extra chunky gumbo.
fresh parsley. I recommend using fresh parsley for this, not dried. If all you have is dried, use that, but I got this at Walmart for about 50 cents, so y'all can get fresh parsley, come on. I'll show y'all a trick for these enoki mushrooms. So, for an easy cleanup here, you just cut it while it's still in the package. Cut off the bottom, that'll remove that nasty part of the enoki mushroom. And then you're just left with this. To mimic like a crab meat kind of texture, I'm just gonna cut these in half here. And then just kind of pull this apart. Ingredients are all chopped here, we're ready to go. All right, let's do this. So I got some oil here. I'm just gonna measure out a half cup of this. New Orleans gumbo. So I got a half cup of oil going in the pot here. Going in with my sausage here. Just let all that vegan sausage flavor get into that oil there. Look how this oil just changes color here. And the vegan sausage I would recommend for this recipe is the Beyond Meat Italian Sausage. It is incredible. It tastes like, just like sausage, literally. Tastes identical. If you eat meat right now and you're watching this, give this Beyond Sausage a try. Tell me it doesn't taste like the real deal, but it's made from plants. So you know it's healthier and it's better for the environment and it's better for the animals. Just fry your sausage on a nice medium heat. Also, I only got two Beyond Sausage links today, but I recommend using a whole package of Beyond Sausage. So four links total. All right, this sausage is done. Now we're just gonna remove this from the oil and set this aside. To this oil, I'm going in with one fourth cup of butter. I know guys, I know you'll probably think I'm trying to give you a heart attack, but all the ingredients I'm using today are vegan and cholesterol free because plants don't contain cholesterol. So, lowers your risk of heart disease. All right, that butter's melted. I'm going in with some all-purpose flour here. Equal parts flour to equal parts oil and butter. So, mix this in. And just add this flour nice and slowly. And you're gonna want your heat on a nice medium or medium low heat. You do not wanna burn this roux, trust me. Nice and slow, take it nice and slow. Scrape the bottom of that pan, make sure you get all that sausage drippings off of there. And you're gonna wanna use a whisk for this. Just to make sure you have no clumps of flour whatsoever. I know you're gonna see the recipe and you're gonna say, oh, I'm just gonna use a little bit less oil and a little less butter. Nah, don't do that. You're not gonna wanna do that because you definitely need all the oil and butter and equal parts flour. So basically the goal here is we're just going to cook this until it turns a dark brown color. The key to a good roux is just simmer it low and slow until it slowly changes color and does not burn. You do not want a burnt roux or your entire gumbo will taste like burnt crap. And we're just gonna continuously mix this the entire time. People who walk away from their roux, they walk away from the stove, they make bad gumbo. You'll see the color of this roux changing. Starts getting darker. This isn't ready yet, still needs to get darker than this. Almost there guys, almost there. A good roux takes time, but it's worth it for the best gumbo. All right, y'all see this roux is a nice chocolatey brown. All I'm gonna do, go in with my trinity here. Onions, celery, and bell pepper. Going right in the pan with it. That smell, incredible. Mix this in. All right, this Trinity has been cooking for about five to seven minutes. 
These onions are looking translucent and everybody in there is sweating. I'm gonna go in with my scallions, my garlic, and my fresh parsley. Mix this in. All right, that garlic, scallion, and parsley is well infused into this mixture. It's been cooking in there for about five minutes. Now, I'm gonna go in with a bunch of stuff. So, going in with my can of stewed tomatoes right here. Like I said, you guys can use diced if you want. Also going in with my tomato paste, sprig of thyme, two bay leaves. You notice I'm using fresh bay leaves. You don't want all that dried stuff. I'm going in with one tablespoon of this Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. Half a tablespoon of paprika here, going in. Three quarters of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Two tablespoons of hot sauce here. I'm using Louisiana hot sauce. Two tablespoons of white vinegar. I got one tablespoon of sugar going in. I got two tablespoons of vegan Worcestershire going in. And I got three quarts of veg stock going in. Mix this in and turn up our heat to high here. All right, we got all of our vegan proteins ready right here. So, we have our pre-fried sausages right there. We got some vegan shrimp, some vegan chicken, and some enoki mushroom. As this comes to a boil, I'm going in with all these vegan proteins. Right in the pot with it. Sausage, shrimp, chicken and enoki mushroom. 100% plant-based over here. Mix this in. I'm also gonna go in with some okra here. You guys don't have to use okra. Some people don't like it because it's kinda got that slimy texture. I like it, so I got about a cup and a half of okra going in here. You guys can use fresh okra or frozen, but fresh is always preferred. Mix this in. All right, this is boiling. I'm gonna cut this heat down to low, and I'm just gonna let this simmer, stirring periodically. All right, this gumbo is three hours in. It is looking beautiful. It's got a nice, crusty layer around here. Real quick, I'm gonna hit this with some gumbo filet. I'm gonna go in with a couple teaspoons of this. Mix this in. Oh my goodness. My mouth is watering, y'all. This looks insane. Total simmer time for this, three hours. You're gonna wanna make sure all that flavor gets infused into the broth and that gumbo just thickens up nicely. Real quick, let's give this a taste. Oh man. It's delicious. I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt. You guys, season to your liking. Taste your gumbo. If you think it needs more salt, add more salt. If you think it's good to go, then serve immediately. Our gumbo's all done. Remove this from the heat. Here's how to make perfect white rice using an Instant Pot. So we got two cups of rinsed rice right here. I'm using jasmine rice today. You guys can use whatever rice you want. Make sure it's a white grain. And I got two cups of water. So one to one ratio of rice to water. Pop this lid on here. We're gonna hit manual. Adjust this to three minutes, high pressure. And then we're gonna let that cook. Once it's done, leave the lid on for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take your lid off and you have perfect white rice. Rice is all done. Time to plate. So we got our rice right here. Really simple, just gonna hit this with a little parsley here. Make it look fancy. Yeah, there's some better light for you. Now let's move that out of the way. And here's a clean bowl here. And our beautiful gumbo right here. Let's get this in the bowl.
Garnish this with some parsley right here. And a little more parsley. And that's it. There you have it. Vegan New Orleans gumbo. The best recipe on YouTube. There you go, guys. The Eat More Plants official gumbo with chicken, shrimp, even enoki mushroom. And you cannot forget about that Beyond Sausage. Just tops everything off in that rich gumbo broth. Serve with white rice and you're good to go. Let's eat! Alright y'all, let's give this a taste real quick. So, we got our New Orleans gumbo. It took me almost all day to cook this. I cannot wait to try this. Well, I've been kind of trying it all day, but this is the finished result. All my hard work, all my blood, sweat, and tears I put into this for y'all, get you a bite of this. New Orleans gumbo. Vegan chicken, sausage, and shrimp in here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Just got some okra. I like the okra in here. Some people don't like okra in their gumbo, but I like it. Mmm. Mmm. I just got about a sausage. Have y'all tried that Beyond Sausage yet? It is so good. It tastes real. It tastes like real sausage. I got the Italian uh, flavored version for this recipe and it worked great. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta get a bite of rice right here with this. Perfect white rice. Mm -mm -mm. Taste that with some more gumbo. Mm. All right. Try this vegan chicken right here. This vegan chicken, I got it at Walmart. It's made by No Evil Foods. Never tried it before. It's basically just made from wheat, uh, wheat gluten. So let's give this a try. Hmm. Hey man, that's pretty on point. I mean, it doesn't taste exactly like chicken, but it's got that texture, it's got that bite. It's good, man, I like it. All right, let's try one of these. Bee leaf vegan shrimp. Oop, dropped it right here. Here's another one. Get you one of these vegan shrimps right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. It's pretty good. Doesn't taste exactly like shrimp. It's a little more chewy. More of like a squid-like texture or something. Mm. Still good though, I still like it. All right. Have we tried all the proteins, the shrimp, the sausage, and the chicken? The uh, enoki mushrooms, I can't really see them anymore in here. They've kind of dissolved, but they're in there. 
If you guys uh, are using enoki mushrooms to substitute the crab in this recipe, I would add those towards the end when you're simmering. Uh, maybe when you have like 30 minutes left, simmer time. Add those mushrooms so they're not overcooked. Man, the broth in this is just incredible though. It's on point. Ah, this is true southern gumbo right here. Wow. No evil foods with that chicken, man. Y'all aren't playing any games. Tastes good, man. Tastes really good. All right, y'all. That's it. All right, y'all, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see me cook next down in the comments. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you smash that. See you guys next time. Eat more plants, y'all. Peace.